Okay, guys, I think we can go ahead and get started. Uh, just in the interest of time, um, since we have uh, three different uh, groups that are going to be presenting, um, and then of course we can ask you can ask any questions you want throughout or, or or at the end. Maybe I would suggest just hold until the presentation for each entity is done. If we can do it that way, that seems to be the best. This will be recorded. Um, I think I've said that probably ten times now, but just just so I'm clear, and and then. We'll put it on the web on our website, and then we'll obviously um, make sure that uh, all three of our uh, presenters today get a copy. And those are the Department of Human Services, uh, Broadlawns, and um, Lutheran Healthcare. And so, um, again, the focal point of this is to uh, try to get people into these much-needed healthcare positions. My name is Ryan West. I'm the Deputy Director of Vital Workforce Development, and so. Um, you know, we're also in partnership with most of these entities at some time. Also, on the call uh, on the Iowa Workforce Development side is Michael Witt. Mike is our division administrator for the uh, field offices all over the state. And so, uh, Mike, if you need to add anything, please unmute. And I think if you're not speaking, if you wouldn't mind muting, and then if you are, obviously go ahead and unmute yourself. And if, you're, if we're not able to hear you, I'll make sure I have you unmuted too. Um, that way, um, um, you know, there's no feedback. And if you have questions at the end of, of each PowerPoint, we'll start with Department of Human Services first, if that's okay. When they're done, we can open it up for questions or, or um, Lori, Jody, whatever you guys are comfortable with. Then we'll, we can go to Broadlawns next and then we'll do Lutheran. So um, I think this is just one page PowerPoint for you guys at Department of Human Services. So I'm going to um, uh, leave this one up and um, Jody, I'm gonna turn this one over to you and let you go. We're, we're on record if you're ready to go. Okay, thanks a lot, Ryan. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jody Gruning. I'm the uh, HR Director for Department of Human Services. And my partner today is Lori DeMoss. Can you wave, Lori? Uh, she is the Administrator of Nursing at one of our facilities within DHS. She's based out of Woodward Resource Center. And uh, I, I asked Lori to join because she is uh, steeped in all things uh, clinical and nursing and DHS, because she's been here 35 years. Um, so she can speak to uh, lots of great things about, about our organization. But um, we are really excited for the opportunity to share uh, some of our openings that are out there right now, which you can see on this slide. Um, but I wanted to briefly just share a little bit about DHS and that we are um, of the state agencies uh, that serve citizens of Iowa, we are the largest one uh, by way of, of uh, team members. We have over 4,000 team members that are in different roles and locations across the state of Iowa. Um, and uh, within that group, we have six. Uh, we have six facilities that are in different locations across the state. And Lori, like I said, is uh, joining us from Woodward. Um, we, uh, about half of our staff, our total staff works in the facilities. So uh, that accounts for about 50% of our total workforce within DHS. And we are always looking for um, service oriented um, employees who, who wanna make a difference for people. And before I, uh, I'm fairly new at DHS and before I came here, I didn't realize all of the amazing work uh, that our organization does and the services that are provided to citizens of the state. So I'd like to um, turn it over to Lori now just to give us some insight about um, kind of what, a, uh, what it's like to be a service provider in the healthcare field uh, within an agency um, and within a, a center within our our organization compared to what it might be like uh, elsewhere. So, uh, and we'll be excited to answer any questions that you have after we're done talking about our, our team. Lori? Yes, I'm the Administrator of Nursing at Woodard Resource Center, and we serve people with intellectual disabilities. Um, so DHS does serve individuals with mental health um, issues as well. And so I've worked for the agency for 35 years, as Jody mentioned, working as a staff nurse, um, working as a nurse supervisor, and then now as the administrator of nursing. So I've held several roles at Woodward Resource Center prior to my current position. As you can see there, we have openings, um, LPN, RN, administrator of nursing at Glenwood, 
is available. Um, that is a management position. Um, as far as our staff are in positions, we are looking for people with good communication skills. We work in a team environment and we work with other professionals such as speech, physician, pharmacy, OT, PT, direct staff. We need someone that is able to communicate and work as a team and um, provide the best nursing care that we can provide to our individuals that we care for. Um, that person would need to be able to use their nursing assessment skills, as well as administer medications, transcribe medication orders, um, be able to um, communicate in a therapeutic way with not only our individuals, but with the direct care staff and the other staff that we work with. Um, do you want me to, Jody? Do you want me to speak specifically about um, the openings that we do have? Sure. And one thing that I would add is on our slide that um, the current DHS healthcare openings is actually a link. So Ryan, I'm not sure if if folks will um, have access to the actual document to be able to just click on that link, but that will take you uh, into. Uh, NeoGov, which is where all of our uh, state of Iowa positions are posted. And, and I'll make sure that that's uh, an option. I'll make sure this is posted on the website as well and that link is clickable. I, I, I noted that, Jody, no problem. Great, thanks a lot. Yep. So, Lori, I believe all our, go ahead. Oh, so no, you, you go. I was just gonna say that all our positions are full-time that are posted um, and that we enjoy uh, vacation, sick leave. Um, there are many benefits of working with the state, including IPERS um, retirement system. And so we do enjoy those benefits as well as working in a team environment where uh, we feel very supported and work together to achieve our goals. So Ryan, I guess we'll open it up for questions if you want to take questions by organization or if you want to wait until the end to do that, however uh, works best. Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just open it up. Does anybody uh, on the call have a, or on, I'm sorry, on the, on the webinar, on this specific one have a question? Certainly we'll probably have a lot more as we get this pushed out through social media. So anybody who's not a presenter have a, have a, a question for uh, um, Jody or Lori? I don't think anything's come through the chat yet. Okay, so we will uh, open in the chat. Okay, so I don't think we have any questions as yet, guys. Okay. okay. All right. So let's go ahead and move to the next one then. Um, is Lindsay on by chance for Broadlawns? She's on with the uh, on the phone, Ryan. Okay, is that her right there? I'm gonna unmute her. Uh, Lindsay, can you hear us? Hi, Ryan. Hi, sorry about that. Thank you for making. That's okay. Okay, so let me do my job here. Let me share your screen. So, Lindsay, why don't you introduce yourself if you don't mind? Sure. I'm Lindsay Fett, and I'm the human resources manager at Broadlands Medical Center. Gotcha. Okay. And if I was doing my job faster, I would have this already done. Here we go, let me get it on here. So you tell me when you're ready for the next screen, Lindsay. Okay, so we're, I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't see you guys. Okay, or so I I'm, can't on the, I'm on your first, uh, first uh, okay. slide right now. Okay, great. So we are Broadlands Medical Center. We are located in Des Moines. Um, we are the safety net hospital, the county hospital here in the Metro. Um, we're doing some great things, expansion. You can see our picture up there on the right hand, top right hand. We're currently um, improving and growing our medical surgical family birthing center um, icu some new surgical suites um, kind of all kinds of exciting things happening here um, and then down below we have some new urgent care clinics um, our mission is to you know help our community providing accessible cost-effective patient care um, and with that we're expanding to different clinics 
um, and have openings both at our hospital and at our clinics. Um, if you want to go to the next slide. Done. A um, little bit about Broadlawns. Um, been around um, since 1924. We employ a little over 1,500 or 1,400 um, employees, um, nurses, healthcare techs, CMAs, LPNs. Um, environmental services, everything, kind of we run our own little city, I like to think of it. Um, so we have openings there. Um, our licensed beds were 200 beds, so we're a little bit smaller for the Des Moines area. Um, but that's, again, our community approach. Um, you know, our um, employees feel that community, and we're a community here as employees as well. Um, and it's just a great um, kind of a small hospital in the big city feel um, for our employees here at Broadlawn. Um, and so we're excited about that. Um, just kind of echo some of the other things that the other um, organization talked about. Um, we'll also have IPERS um, as a retirement benefit, you know, uh, PTO, um, sick leave, all those things are included for our employees. Um, and I think I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, you want me to go to the next one? You got one more here. Um, sure. I think that's just a little bit about our key stats. So again, yep. I mentioned we have clinic visits and ED, our outpatient visits, and then our surgeries as well. Um, just to kind of give you an overview of what Broadlands is and what we're doing for the community. Okay, good deal. Uh, any questions for Lindsay at this time? Okay, and Lindsay, if, if uh, you know, where do people go, again, um, um, to look at the positions that you guys have available? Yep, broadlawns.org. Um, to, towards the right-hand area, there'll be a careers and opportunities link, and you can get started there. Okay. Broadlawns.org, and I'll make sure to put that in the notes as well. Okay, and I don't think we see any questions coming through yet on that one. Okay. All right. So thank you, Lindsay. We're going to hold you then and we'll go to our next presentation. Okay. Uh, be Lutheran Health. And um, I'm sorry, who's doing the one for Lutheran Health? Can you, um, so I can unmute you? Hi, Hi, this is Bethany. Oh, hey, Bethany. How are you? There you are. Okay, good. I thought that was you. Okay. Hi. So Hi. I'm going to pull up your uh, PowerPoint here real quick. Thanks. And if you wouldn't mind also unmuting my colleague, Jocelyn. She's also on the call. Hi, Jocelyn. I see you there. You've been one of the first ones here. Yeah, let me get Jocelyn too. Sure. You guys don't realize how quick I am at using Zoom. Do you realize how long this would have took me a week ago to do all this? I really deserve a blue ribbon for this. I'm, I, I have screwed this up so many times. I'm so I'm sorry. I just had to get that out there. So, uh, Bethany, I have. Uh, uh, you should be unmuted, um, or you will be here shortly. Okay, and Jocelyn, you should be unmuted as well. So thank you for your time. Um, you tell me when to hit the next, um, um, as we go through the PowerPoint, you tell me when to hit next. Okay, thank you. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's doing okay today, and I'm going to apologize in advance for any background sounds you hear. It's my attempt to homeschool and work from home, which is new <laughs> to all of us. <laughs> um, so thanks for the invitation. I can just give a really quick um, update as to who Lutheran Services in Iowa is. A lot of times people think we're Lutheran Hospital. We're not. Um, we are one of Iowa's largest human services nonprofit agencies. We have been around since 1864. Um, we have over a thousand team members statewide at more than 33 locations throughout Iowa. Um, and we are constantly hiring and especially now. Um, we have, I'll quickly kind of run through our service lines. We um, contract with the state of Iowa to do child welfare services. So we have family safety services, um, which we love partnering with um, the Department of Human Services on. Um, we have foster care and adoption services. We have um, residential treatment for kids in two campuses, one in Ames, Iowa, and one in Waverly, Iowa. Um, we also have an extensive program for individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities that's statewide. Um, we have early childhood services. 
um, refugee and immigrant services, and then clinical services, which are our community-based behavioral health and mental health services. So um, I, that's, a, that's a lot of things, and a lot of those service lines have openings. So if you want to move to the next slide, um, we just kind of bucketed what our most urgent needs are at this point and the positions that are hiring immediately. Um, we're doing almost all of our interviewing virtually at this point. So um, one thing we're trying to be really careful of is um, protecting our job applicants. And so our HR team has moved all of our um, application process to be a virtual experience. Obviously, if you're hired, you have to come on site at some point since we do serve people. But the application process we've tried to make as worry-free as possible. So um, you can kind of see up on the screen there the positions that we have available. Um, a lot of these are in Ames, Des Moines, and Waverly areas, which is where our largest campuses are. However, we do have opportunities statewide, and those opportunities range from direct service, so that is people who do not have a college degree, to um, nursing staff, um, uh, licensed therapists, and others who um, have the degrees required to do our child safety work. So um, it really is just kind of all over the map in terms of the opportunities that are available. Um, if you want to move to the next slide, thank you so much. Um, we just kind of because our workforce, we, we have everybody from college students to you know advanced degree medical professionals. And so we have a real range of opportunities available from full-time to part-time to occasional. We're also offering a lot of temporary positions right now just to accommodate any workforce that may have been displaced by um, the COVID epidemic. Um, we've, we're really flexible with our scheduling. Um, we have pretty good benefits packages, great PTO package, and the one thing that we're really proud of is our um, team culture. We have a full-time director of team culture whose job it is just to support and engage our workforce, and um, we, we take pride in that culture. So, um, Jocelyn, I don't know, I have Jocelyn here to answer any specific questions folks might have about our positions or benefits or pay, um, but I think that was it for what we wanted to present. I'm super appreciative for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> excuse me, thank you for coming on. Jocelyn, did you have anything you want to add? Uh, no, I don't think so. I can answer any questions regarding um, pay and uh, benefits, hours, that sort of stuff. Okay. And, um, you know, I, I wondered kind of if the bulk of the questions on this will come after we record it, quite honestly, which is okay. Um, we'll get it pushed out there like we can. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Is there anybody on the call that, that has some questions? I know we don't have a huge group uh, this, today, but that's okay. I mean, we're, we're getting it recorded was the first, um, you know, um, direction that we wanted to go. So any questions? I'll throw that back out there. Okay, uh, Mike, you want to, and, and I didn't know, uh, didn't realize this, but uh, our home base Iowa coordinator is on uh, with us as well, I believe, um, Jathan Chaconi, and Jathan um, um, is uh, our new home base Iowa coordinator over the past two or three weeks now, I think, and so we're really excited to have him on. We actually have another individual coming on as well, but Mike, do you want to kind of cover that part of it and how it fits into this? If you don't mind, I'm totally putting you on the spot here. Thanks for putting me on the spot. You're welcome. Uh, and Jathan, if you want, you're welcome to say hello as well. But uh, we're excited for Jathan to be on board. Um, Iowa has uh, an extremely amazing program to connect with veterans, not only in state, but across the country, helping to show and share uh, the great things about our state, uh, the great opportunities uh, that we have in our state with, with all of our employers, and, and our job to make that connection between that veteran and that employer that's looking for skilled and talented workers. And so um, Jathan is fairly new with us, but he's got a lot of background in the veteran community as well as with Home Base Iowa overall. Um, and he's hitting the ground running, getting the word out uh, to, to all of the veterans that we can about the amazing opportunities that we have across the state. And so I'll, Jason, Jathan, if you'd like to say hello, you're welcome to, um, but, this definitely fits into the overall vision 
um, uh, connecting veterans with opportunities in Iowa and helping families to, to understand the great things that we have in our state. Thank you, Mike. I think Jathan may be uh, holding strong on the mute, and that's fine. So, yeah, I mean, can you, can you, oh, there you are. Yep, go ahead, Jathan. Outstanding. No, I'm just uh, happy to be on the call and, and definitely coming on board, but uh, the healthcare field is something definitely that we're going to be paying attention to. And um, I know just uh, people uh, uh, um, connected are really looking for ways to continue serving and certainly. Um, I'm taking notes and thinking about opportunities. So happy to be here, and we're going to really uh, work hard to find uh, top talent for your for your uh, organizations. No, it's great to hear it. Thank you, Jason. Right. Thanks, Mike. Um, anytime I can put Mike on the spot, that's always a good thing, guys. I, tr I really try to go out of the way to do that, Tim. Uh, I, I want to, uh, um, you know, per, per echo. You know, we're obviously the healthcare thing is in the middle of all this, and I and the, the individuals on this call have forgotten more about healthcare than I'll ever know. But uh, just in what we're here, and you know, as we go through and we and we we explain to everybody, uh, explain to folks about unemployment insurance. You know, one of the things we have to be mindful of is there's uh, a huge uh, group of employers who are still looking for uh, employees, and certainly healthcare is right at the top of the list. So one of the things we have to make sure that we're doing is, you know, when we're explaining unemployment insurance, uh, we also want to, with a caveat, say, hey, by the way, we have a lot of employers who are looking for. Uh, people to fill those much needed positions. And as those come through, we're putting those at the top of our webpage or right at the very top, because uh, it's certainly one of the most important things we're trying to do. So this webinar um, was really designed to get people uh, in the mindset of thinking that way. Uh, certainly these are just three of the many uh, opportunities that are available in healthcare. Uh, dare I say that healthcare's probably got the most need right now. Um, I, don't think, I don't see how they couldn't. Um, with all things going on. So these are just three of the really great um, pillars of healthcare in the state of Iowa, all known um, groups who have oper awesome opportunities available. And if we can help a veteran get through the home-based Iowa program to push them over there, we'll certainly do that as well. So my goal, my goal here was with the, with, um, the approval of uh, the individuals, once again, we had Jody and Lori from Department of Human Serv Serv Services, uh, um, Lindsay Fratt from Broadlawns, and then we have Bethany and Jocelyn uh, from Lutheran Services that I need to stop calling Lutheran Healthcare, uh, so I apologize about that. But um, So they're going to be available. We'll make sure that uh, the links are available in this PowerPoint that we can push uh, back out to everybody. I'll clean that up today and at least get it out by tomorrow. But I, I would like to go back around. Jody, Lori, is there anything else you'd like to add? Nothing more from my perspective. Just know that there's huge opportunity and uh, this is a great place to work. Like Lori said, we have great benefits, um, uh, great opportunities, lots of great service work to do uh, and very rewarding. So thank you for the opportunity. We appreciate it, Ryan. No, absolutely. Thank you for making time and coming on. Lindsay, um, I'm going to pull yours up one more time as well. Anything else you'd like to add? No, just want to add, um, you know, we're starting to see applications from maybe other parts of healthcare, whether it be surgical centers and that kind of thing, um, applying to Broadbonds, which is fantastic. Um, you know, keep encouraging those people to um, apply in hospital settings. Um, and we're more than happy to do what we can to get those individuals involved. Okay, fantastic. And I'll make sure we have a link to yours as well. And then, of course, Bethany, Jocelyn, anything else that you guys would like to add? Um, nothing from us at the moment. I just want to thank everybody else on the call for the good work that they're doing, trying to respond to this crisis and also just, you know, keep Iowa's healthcare workforce going. I, I'm grateful that we're all in this together, and I'll be very grateful to be able to grow all of our teams and keep serving Iowans. So thank you all for what you're doing, and thanks for organizing the webinar. Yeah, you're absolutely our pleasure to be part of it. And thank you for all the help you guys are doing. Uh, and Jocelyn, thank you to, to you as well. Mike, uh, Jath, anything else you want to add? And I just want to also thank the employers, not only across Iowa, but the three on the line with us today. Um, you and your teams are just doing amazing work. And, and I'm hoping that we can continue to highlight um, healthcare across the state and the needs that are out there and, and uh, start to help fill those up. Okay. Yeah, and this, yep. just as Jason, just 
want to echo what Mike said, looking forward to working and I uh, really appreciate all you're doing and we're going to do our best to really um, connect the dots. Okay, and the, and the only thing else I'll add is, so we'll get this out uh, again one more time. I want to make sure I state that and we'll have it on our website. Go to iowaworkforcedevelopment.gov. Make sure to follow us on social media if you can uh, and these other entities as well. Uh, uh, but specifically from, from where we're sitting, that when we're trying to put out these webinars and information, we're going to always be posting that through our social media and website stuff. So please follow us. And if you have questions and you're not sure how to connect with whoever, um, email one of us. My information will be in there when it goes out as well. So I think that's it. Uh, good 30 minutes, guys. Thank you very much for your time. And um, stay safe. What an unusual Thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.